welcome to Jason's Crazy Gameplays. I'm Jason, and today we're going to Cloak's training post to see some bills. All my, my remarks is bare minimum. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I have all that came from. <laughs> now, my family started raising bears here back in 1930, and we are the original local family of bear keepers. Our entire family is the North American black bear, first American conference, the bear of America. This ring and these enclosures are just part of our bear's home. And in present, we have a total of nine. There are four on display in the back here, and we have an additional five across the street, two separate habitats. I'll get to them in a moment. Now, my personal experience with black bears began in this ring when I was two years of age. My father, Murray, had a pair of cubby bears named Sapphire and Pearl. He posed for a photograph right over here. I had my baby bottle, they had theirs. Mm. A few years later, like many of my family, I worked outside the ring to help along the show. And then during the late 1980s, I joined my father and sister here in the ring. Throughout all of these years, we have been asked a lot of questions about bears. Probably the most common one is, how long do they live? Well, the answer comes in two parts. Out here in the woods of New Hampshire, we currently have an estimated population of wild bears that approaches 5,000 heads, and they're on the increase. We'll probably never know how many for sure, though, because every time we do the census, no one shows up. Our performer, she is a professional showgirl by the name of Echo. Come to the heart, they love to see you. Here she is, 18 years of age. Young ones shed early on, older ones for the latter part of the summer. 
But by the full moon of August, they're all done shedding last year's coat, and then the new ones arrive from Fairlington Coat Pack. <laughs> Here comes the beer. Yeah. The audience. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you can see I have some almonds, dried strawberry, and blueberry. Whenever you're ready, Your Highness. And she's off. Yay! You see Big Beer? Thank you. 
We don't use weapons of any kind for our name. Whips, chains, muscles, frogs, on that jet. All right, uh, where are we going now? Oh, park it right here. No one's watching from 70. This rig is known as the Marimobile. On a good day, we get about 13 miles per gallon of ice cream with it. Not too shabby for this neck of the woods. And our efforts go green. We've been working on a hybrid. One that runs on milk or ice cream. That one's still in development. Just like that joke. <laughs> Training posts. See you next week in peace.